From South Korea. Today is very exciting for me, at least food wise, because as you guys know, I love buffets. My parents own a buffet restaurant. I grew up eating buffet food. Me and buffets are like, are like this. I love buffets because you can never have food regrets at a buffet. You know what I'm talking about? You go to dinner with a bunch of people at a new trendy restaurant. You're not sure what to order on the menu because you only really get one shot at this. You order and then you realize when the food comes that your friend's food looks so much better than yours. But at a buffet, we're all equal. We can eat whatever and however much we want. So since since I'm in Seoul, I really wanted to try a traditional Korean buffet. And that's why I'm here at Hansik Oba. This is not just a buffet. It's a buffet that only has traditional Korean dishes. That's what I hate, you know? You go to an ethnic buffet and you see like half the buffet is pizzas and fried chicken wings. But not here. Hansik literally means Korean food. Let's go do some reconnaissance. Check this out, this is really interesting. So these are fermented ingredients, and what you do is you take a bowl, and you add some rice into it, then you add one of these two soups. One is green tea and one's barley, so you make this kind of cold rice soup thing. I'm kind of scared, everything is fermented, so I think there's actually some raw stuff in here. This is fermented scallops, and I put green tea in this little nice icy soup. I mean, it looks pretty. This is not bad at all. Mm. I mean, when I hear fermented seafood, I expected this to kind of be a little stinky, but mm, it's actually really nice. The rice is not soggy at all, and this tea soup, mm, wow, it's actually really nice and refreshing. Soup number two, this is a um, spicy um, beef stew, but when I was there, I couldn't really find a lot of pieces of beef. I think people took it off. Looks like it's got a lot of green onion. Looks very spicy. And this is a soup typically eaten at funerals. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, that's delicious. I thought with all these green onions in here, this soup might not be that good. I feel like these large green onions here, they're kind of the star attraction. Mm. Nice and crunchy. The oniony flavor is not that strong. The soup is over spicy, very beefy. Mm. That's awesome. It's really cool. A Korean burger. First of all, I want to say this burger looks beautiful. It's nice and fluffy. And inside this burger is bulgogi. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's awesome. I'm not a big fan of the bun. But this bulgogi is awesome. I think what they did here was that they ground up the bulgogi and formed it into a patty. So when you bite it, mm, it falls apart. Now I want to try a traditional Korean sausage. This is a blood sausage. The way to eat this is dip it into your daboki sauce. Daboki is uh, Korean rice cakes. Also, you eat it with a fried pumpkin. Here it is. Mmm. That's awesome. Well, I like that the tabuki sauce is nice and spicy. Fried pumpkin gives it a nice crunch. This sausage this is amazing. If you guys never had Korean blood sausage before, go give it a shot. This is probably the best Korean blood sausage I've had. Normally, I'm not a fan of this because, first of all, I'm not a vampire, so I don't love to eat foods made with a lot of blood. And this sausage is not really like a like a sausage that you would typically think of. It is wrapped in intestine, of course, but on the inside, it's blood and glass noodles. So there's not a lot of meat in here. There's definitely a lot of like animal essence in here, but not a lot of like, you know, physical chunks of meat. All right, I've been wanting to try this. This is the special pork belly made in that oven. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. It's a little tougher than I expected, but there's so much flavor in this, and it's spicy. Wow, it's got a good amount of spice in here. Mmm. Mm. Make sure you get the chunks with some fat on it. You're gonna like how that fat melts in your mouth as you chew. And you got a little psalm station over here. Just grab whatever veggies you want. You can use these for wrappers, garnishes. And of course, you need the psalm paste over here. This is very traditional Korean fermented bean paste. This is the traditional roasted beef. And I'm gonna just make a little psalm out of this here. I'm gonna add a little marinated pickle and just a tad of uh, fermented bean sauce. Korean taco.
Mm. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that marinated pickle. That is good. I'm gonna make a little sum out of my chicken galbi. So, chicken galbi. I'm gonna put a piece of marinated pickles on there. And some of these greens. There we go. Chase that with another marinated pickle. And that is how you make yourself happy at a Korean buffet. This is a bibimbap making station. I'm gonna make my own bibimbap. A little bit of each of the ingredients. This is delicious. Maybe I'm a good ingredient mixer. Oh, you know what this needs? This needs some meat, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some chunks of uh, beef in here. That's perfect. That's exactly what this movie Bob needed. Oh, that's legit. I've never had this before. This is a piece of water kimchi. I'm supposed to eat it with soup. Wow. I never had stir fried kimchi before. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna eat my tofu with the kimchi. That's perfect. That's like the yin and yang of food. All right, it's dessert time. I got some chrysanthemum shaped bread. These are the little uh, wafer things I had before in New York. And there's green bean inside. Oh, wow. Nice and crispy. Oh, that's awesome. Mmm. Warm and gooey red beans on the inside. That's a home run. Then I got a piece of this bread with the red bean spread on top. Wow. This red bean spread is really sweet. Actually, it works perfect with the bread. It's not sweet at all. Nice and chewy. Mmm. I like it. I was trying to get some of this juju drink. I wish I had more because this is awesome. It's a little thick. Have you ever had juju bees before? Nice sweet flavor. This is awesome. I just got laughed at by uh, my Korean friends for eating with me. They said this is a grandma's drink. But you know what? It's one of the only things that can defeat a Chinese zombie. So if a bunch attacks right now, I'll be the one who's laughing. Grandma's drink. Huh. This is really cool. This is a Mountain Dew looking um, drink with ice in it. This is called a yu Yuza Juice. Wow. Very citrusy flavors. It kind of tastes like a cross between um, pineapple juice and orange juice. And this is my Bingsu. Uh, come to pop up. I love this sweet red bean paste. And I love the fact that they let you customize it yourself because half the time when I get it, they either put too much topping or there's too much ice. This way, you get the perfect amount you want. You get to choose what goes on there, and that's awesome. You know what would be awesome? I just thought of this. Take my little cake thing, and I'm gonna open it up. Okay, all the red beans are on this side. The side's empty. So, eat this. Delicious. Now, take your bean soup and put it in here. That's called buffet innovation. Mm. If you guys ever come here, that's how you eat your dessert. Yay! They got a the little fishies this time. Look at this. Same thing, I'm gonna split this little fishy in half, which kind of sounds gruesome, but I promise you it's not really. Put the ice on the inside. And let it swim to your mouth. Just enjoy. Whew. No more. That's it. I cannot fit another fish in my mouth. I had like 20 of them. This has been an awesome Korean buffet experience. I've never been to a Korean buffet before. I didn't even think they existed. Of all the Asian buffets I've had in the US, I've had um, Chinese, of course, uh, Indian, Japanese. I even, I've even had Thai buffet. Never heard of a Korean buffet before. But I'm so glad I came here. This place literally had every single traditional Korean dish on the buffet. And everything was cooked, and you can tell with high quality ingredients. Also, what's really cool about this place, when you walk in, there's like a little hand washing station. They got a ton of soft drinks, coffee, and for those of you who actually drink, unlimited beer. And here's the best of all. You get all that, and the price is only... 14, uh, 14,900, not dollars, Wong. So that's only 1490s, $15. And you don't tip in Korea. So you're only paying $14.90 for this awesome buffet experience. And like I said, everything here is traditional Korean food. So you're not gonna find like 
random pizzas. I mean, there's a kids section. That's only like three things. So guys, if you are ever in Seoul, definitely check this place out. I'll have their info for you down below. Thank you all so much for watching. See you.